the place where you can find plenty of superheroes and villains. Comic-Con returns to Tucson this weekend. Uh, the downtown comic convention is growing in popularity, drawing thousands of fans and dozens of artists from around the city. And for the first time this year, a special group of kids got an inside look. 90 News Side's Jennifer Dela Cruz was at Comic-Con earlier today. It was easy to get scared at Tucson Comic-Con this year. The eighth annual event drew in all types of guests to the Tucson Convention Center over the weekend. Characters from nearly every comic and sci-fi series got dressed up in full costume. Hi. Guests getting a chance to bring some of their favorite characters to life. They love the stuff, the superheroes and the costumes. They got a chance to wear their Halloween costumes again, <laughs> which I loved. They still think it's real. And this year, something a little extra special. Tucson Comic Con teamed up with Banner UMC's Diamond Children's Medical Center. Together, they gave away 30 free passes to the young patients and their families. The kids getting early access to the convention, personal tours with some of the characters, and gift bags full of merchandise. I had a parent come up to me and say that they hadn't seen their kids smile uh, like this in a long time. Kids, I only saw huge smiles ear to ear. And that partnership made the event even more fun for the superheroes too. You know, a lot of people say, well, why do you get dressed up? Why do you spend money on, on this kind of stuff? And really just seeing their reaction, seeing them so happy, I mean, that's it's worth everything. But it wasn't all about playing dress up. Tucson Comic Con featured dozens of booths set up to display artwork and memorabilia from artists all across the city.